Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk about a brand that I have never featured on my channel before. It's a new brand for me. I had to see what the hype was about because everyone is carrying these things and that is Telfar. So I know you guys have seen these. They are everywhere and it seems like this um, fashion house is really taking off, becoming super trendy. They're doing lots of collabs with other big companies and celebrities. So I wanted to check it out for myself, see what all the fuss was about. I will show you the features of this bag, what fits. I will show you mod shots on the body and I will talk about my honest thoughts and opinions about this style and how I like it. Before I get started, I just want to mention if it's around May of 2023 and you're watching this video, I'm having a huge sale on my eBay store. Check in the description box below. I do not have any of this brand on there, but I have tons of other brands as you can see behind me. So definitely check out the link below. All right, let's just jump right into it. I picked up this small shopping bag style and this is in the color painter's tape which I absolutely loved the rainbow of colors that they have to choose from. You guys know I'm a color girl, as you can see from behind me, I love handbags in different colors. And cobalt blue is one of my favorite colors and I just couldn't resist the fact this was called painter's tape. The names are of the colors are super whimsical and really fun. So I really like that about the brand. Um, now their bags are all vegan leather, so they are not real leather. They're made from like a PVC type material that is fashioned to look like leather. So that's part of, I think their brand is they're trying to be environmentally conscious. They also are trying to make things that are for all genders. They are genderless um, from their clothes to their accessories, to their bags. It can be carried by anyone. So I really also like that part of their philosophy. And um, I really like the price point. So they try to keep their bags lower in the price point so that it can be for everybody. It doesn't have to, it can be luxury, it can be trendy and awesome and not cost a thousand dollars. So this bag was $150, which I thought was super reasonable for a little bag like this, even though it's not real leather. I will say that the vegan leather is a great texture. It's more of like a fashion doctor smooth leather, but it's not super structured. It's not like a Safiano or something like that that's very, very structured, which I actually like about it. I like that it has a little smushiness to it. It helps with a small bag like this too when the leather isn't so structured so that you can fit more inside of the bag, which I appreciate. So it's a very simple, like a shopping bag design, no feet on the bottom or anything. It does sit nicely at a table on a restaurant. It sits on its own very well. It opens nice and big here. So you can see, even though it's a smaller style, you can see inside very nicely. And it has two sets of straps. Now this is the first thing I found kind of puzzling and off-putting. I get the little baby strap, the little baby handles. There should be two of them. So it looks like a shopping bag. I'm on board with the baby handles. What I didn't really understand was the two big handles. And I don't think I noticed that when I ordered it, I was assuming or maybe thought in the pictures it looked like one long strap that maybe went from here to here that you could use to wear a crossbody. But it is actually two more full size straps. And the thing that gets me about it is they are like kind of stiff so they don't really hang super nice and they're a little bit cumbersome. I think maybe over time as I wore it, they would soften up and become a little more natural looking. But in addition to that, they're 0% adjustable. So whatever height this is at is what you're stuck with. There's no buckle. There's no way to adjust it on the sides that it's sewn into the bag. So you are really stuck with whatever the strap drop is. And I will show you when I get up to do mod shots what it looks like on me. So let me show you what I've been carrying in here. You can see it doesn't fit much. I will say I have a iPhone 13 Pro, not Pro Max. A normal size smartphone will fit in here. It looks like it won't, but it will. If you turn it sideways and really shove it down there, it will go in here, no problem. So what I've been carrying in here is just my car keys, my Gucci pouch that has all of my essential stuff in it, and this cute little wallet, look at this wallet I already had. Um, I had it made for me by somebody who makes these on, um, she has a Facebook store, I believe. I'm gonna link it below because she's awesome. So she custom made this for me with um, recycled Louis Vuitton canvas 
and look at this cobalt blue suede it matches perfectly because i told her cobalt was one of my favorite colors she made this for me and then um it has purple glazing on the side and lavender interior because I told her my other favorite color is purple. So I'm going to link her store below in the description as well. Definitely go check her out. She's amazing. I'll show you the inside of this with nothing in it. It just has a lining that matches the exterior of the bag. Pretty simple. And I would call the lining like a, a nylon type material. It seems super wipeable to me and like not like it would attract stains or lint. So I really like that um, feature of the bag. And then inside you just see the logo there. So pretty simple design. Let me get up and show you what this looks like when you're carrying it. First thing I wanna show you is an arm carry. Now I will say, this is not an attractive situation that's happening here. I don't understand why I can't take these off if I wanted to arm carry it. I guess I could fold them down and try to shove them in the bag, but then that's really gonna take up space for your stuff. So it's not crazy about this design with the long straps not being detachable, but it does look really cute on the arm as an arm carry because it is such a small little size. Um, and it is very lightweight as well. So it works great on the arm. Let me show you how I've been carrying it. I've been carrying it from the two long straps as a crossbody. I'm five foot nine, so I'm pretty tall. And I would say this is probably more suited to somebody who's like five, six or shorter, but it's definitely doable, especially if you like your crossbodies to hang up high on your body where they're more secure, more secure and not like way down here. I tend to like mine on the hip. So this has been a little difficult for me to get used to, but it's definitely workable. And I've been carrying it um, and getting used to like it hanging higher up on my body. And I will say the handles don't really get in the way of your arms or anything that I thought that was going to irritate me, but it really doesn't. And because it is um, just a snap closure, it's very easy to reach inside and get your stuff. All right, that's it for my video on this small shopping bag from Telfar. Now I have to tell you guys, this comes in other sizes. This isn't the only size. This is very small, which works for me, but may not work for you. And there is a medium and a large option. So definitely go check those out if you're interested. They do have other bags too, but their line is very limited and they only drop certain colors on certain days. So it's not like you can just go there and shop. You have to wait for a drop to get what you want. So I would encourage you to sign up for their notifications, especially so you can see what colors are coming out and then what exact day and time you need to get on and try to get one of these because they do sell out pretty quickly. I will say I would give this like maybe a five out of 10. I really like the vegan leather. I love the rainbow of colors that this comes in. I love the, mes the message of the brand itself and what they're trying to accomplish in the fast fashion world. Strap situation killed it for me a little bit. Just wasn't a fan of this. It's just could be so much better designed in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support here on YouTube. And as always, if you have not subscribed, I hope you will consider hitting that button right down there and hit the little bell so you're notified of my future videos. And as always, I'll see you guys on my next one.